Hey everyone, Pastor Jason here with the Bartlett United Methodist Church. After an especially heavy rainstorm had filled all of the potholes in the streets and alleys, a young mother watched from her kitchen window as her two little boys played in the puddles. The older of the two, about five years old, grabbed his sibling by the back of the head and shoved his face into a water-filled hole. As they recovered and stood there laughing and dripping, the panicked mother ran outside and asked the little boy, why in the world did you do that? To which he replied, we were just playing church, mommy, and I was baptizing him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and in the Holy Ghost. Baptism on this episode of Three Minute Methodism. Last time we talked about Holy Communion being one of two sacraments celebrated by United Methodists. The other, of course, being baptism, which comes from a Greek term that means to dip. Unfortunately, there is no salsa involved. No, the dipping that we are talking about has to do with being washed, which is precisely what baptism signifies. That we are washed, that we are cleansed from our sin, and that we are brought into relationship with God and with the church. United Methodists understand baptism as an outward sign of an inward grace which is to say we see it as something that we do visibly that points to what God is doing invisibly. But since God is the primary agent and grace is the primary factor, we don't spend too much time focusing on whether the person being baptized is an infant or an adult or on whether the person is immersed in the water or the water is poured or sprinkled over their head, or even on whether we use a font or a baptistry or a trough. And that last one isn't a joke. Our primary concern is that the person or the parents of the child, as the case may be, are sincere in their dedication of themselves or their child to God. But if we get it wrong, we can always do it over. But we we don't rebaptize? Oh. Well, it's a good thing that God knows what God's doing. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time with another episode of Three Minute Methodism. Until then, stay holy, my friends.